Okay, well this is sort of the wrap-up uh, summary, um, fifth little segment. I just want to talk about after surgery and lifelong success. The cool thing about surgery is there really is this great payoff for a lot of people. The, the, the first year there's uh, major weight loss, there's major change in uh, your medications and your um, and your health uh, for improvement. People see change uh, with some things even within days in terms of diabetes. Um, but we're not, even though we know we can't cure these genes, we're not changing your genetics and we can't cure the disease of obesity permanently, we want to get the maximum amount of value for every patient in their life. We want them to have the best quality of life overall. And that, if you're going to have this risk of an, any operation, you don't want it to be uh, a temporary deal. And it's not temporary for most people. Uh, uh, there's long-term weight impact, but... Uh, we all regain a little bit of weight from our lowest low, uh, pretty much everybody. And, and we just don't want that to turn into an ongoing yearly weight gain. Um, and, and you'll hear a lot about that in the literature or in the public about somebody gained their weight back. Most of the time, if you actually dig, it's somebody who doesn't know that person very well. And they, it turns out they went from, you know, 300 pounds to 180. And then over 20 years, they gained back 50 pounds and there's, fluffy again at 2, 230, 240, or you can fill in the numbers, but people forget what they looked like 10 years ago uh, at 300 pounds, and they are still 50 pounds down, and they're still better with their blood sugars or better with their um, blood pressure than they used to be, and their cancer risk is lower than it used to be, but it looks like, you know, and they struggle, and, and not everybody. Uh, it, this really is the part that varies the most, and this is the part where individualization really matters uh, but also a little bit of luck. I, I think there are some people whose genetics really um, do uh, play a huge impact in their long-term, first of all, their immediate loss, how much they lose, which is why I don't praise people for losing more or less. As long as they're doing their best and taking good care of their overall health and they are overall have a good quality of life, that to me is the goal. I, I would say uh, my goal pretty much, if you had to put it down for every single patient, if there's one cookie cutter, thing I wanted for everybody, uh, cookies, um, it's butt kicking 80 year old. If everybody I know, everybody I touch or meet could be a butt kicking 80 year old and live life and wake up and say, well, I want to go do this today. I'm capable. Uh, I'm not held back by, by any health issue or energy issue. That's the goal. Um, that's not just, just a weight number. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about what most people who get good results do a lot of the